good evening and welcome to take two. Uh, I'm still working on Thor. He is getting there slowly, but surely. Let's see how much we can get done on him tonight. Uh, I'm going to launch right into tonight's topic, which is Wintercon. Wintercon is the annual War Machine and Hordes. Well, not just War Machine and Hordes, I guess it's a gaming convention held in Canberra. Uh, it features a range of games. Um, I don't know what else there is usually. I know it's got a reasonably big Star Wars presence. Uh, Bushido is starting this year. There'll be probably some Infinity and obviously War Machine Hordes. Uh, last year there was some Bolt action, I think it was. And a whole bunch of... Basically it's a tabletop war game tournament. Uh, tournament uh, convention. As opposed to CanCon which has a heavy magic presence and uh, general cosplay type stuff. Um, so I will be playing in the War Machine and Hordes events, if it wasn't obvious. I'm currently signed up for the Masters event. That's really, really wet. Uh, the Masters event on the first day and the Who's the Boss on the second day. I can't remember the second uh, event. There are two events being run each day. Uh, there is the Masters and something which I cannot for the life of me remember on day one. And then there is a Who's the Boss and a Hardcore on the second day. So that's the event break. That's the event schedule. Again, I really can't remember what the hell the second event is on the first day. But there's also Iron Arena being run all weekend, so you can just go and have fun in the Iron Arena if that's something that you're interested in doing. Um, so I haven't settled on my Who's the Boss list as yet. But I have settled on my two lists for Masters, as it will be the last event I run my Mercenaries in, for at least the time being. Um, I might get back into them once Epic Ashlyn becomes reality, as opposed to just a wish. Um, so obviously I will be running Season 2 ADR, because the aforementioned Ashlyn, and I am pairing her with Gordon. So I'll give a quick run through on my lists. Uh, I've got them written down here. Uh, my Gorton list, which will be the list which I use in most games, um, because I feel comfortable using Gorton in just about every sort of matchup. Although I must admit, with my recent practice, I feel like I've played uh, Ulcerum too much. I do feel like the two play their Earthbreakers so differently uh, that Ulcerum has actually kind of ruined the way I play Gorton, and I was much better with Gorton. Than I was with Austin for a time, but that's okay. Uh, so my Gorton list is Gorton, Earthbreaker, Gorman, Madeline Corbeau, just say, um, Ragman, Rupert, Thor, Wrong Eye, Snapjaw with a Ball Snapper, of course, a full unit of Chaos Assassins with the unit Underboss, and two units of Chaos Eliminators as the main list. Then the ADR options are. Kel Baylock, Lord Rockbottom, Oren Midwinter, Alexia 2, the Devil Shadow Mutineers, and a minimum unit of Boom Howlers. So, the idea of the list is just to use the Earthbreaker to smash the opponent's face in. Um, the Boom Howler, that's why the Boom Howlers are in the board. If I feel like they've got stuff which the Boom Howlers need to provide a better screen for, then that's what they will do. Um, I feel confident, or at least, I feel at least comfortable, not confident, I guess comfortable is a better idea, dropping Gorton into everything except for Crix and for Kruger 2. Um, Gorton's just too slow to take on Kruger 2 in, that, in, in any circumstances because he loses too much power and a good player will send in two primal heavies and then one round, the Earthbreaker, and then because you can't cast the wall and then screen at the same time. So uh, yeah, I don't like that list into Kruger. I don't mind it into everything else though. Um, I have played it into um, a few opponents and I have actually been um, too protective of the Earthbreaker, I feel, and that's actually cost me all the games I've practiced with it. But that's all right. Um, and then the Ashland list, which is for Cricks and for the Kruger 2 matchup, it consists of Ashland, 
with a Gallant or Rosinante as her car as her Warjack. I haven't decided which one. Probably going to go with Gallant at this stage because of what else is in the list, as I'll get to right now. Uh, the rest of the list is Silas Wishnailer because Ashlyn needs the focus efficiency. Um, and the extra range on distraction is usually the difference between her living and her dying. Um, Eris 2, Gaston running a Galleon. Now that will obviously come out depending on what list I'm playing. Um, Harlan Versch, if I stick with Gallant, I'll switch that for something else if I choose not to run Gallant. Uh, Duga McNail, uh, Reinholt, Iron Holt, Gun Mages with UA, and the Tactical Arcanist Core. Uh, then the ADR list is Anastasia Debray, Fullness, and Full Forge Guard. So obviously the idea of this list is to put Quicken and um, Fire Group onto the Galleon, and then use that to annihilate the opponent's face. Um, my hope, and then if I, the other thing I will do is I will probably put Ashlyn into Bradigus if I if I run into him because I think I don't know I don't know and, and then drop the Galleon for the Nissan and the Forge Guard because I think that would be okay but I don't know I haven't tested the matchup as there aren't many Bradigus players uh, mostly because James hates him <laughs> um, so yeah they're my two lists that's what I'm intending on running um, after that I'm diving straight into Haley 3 and we'll be playing Haley 3 pretty much exclusively f for the next six months at this stage um, because for the aforementioned in previous videos if you've watched them the fact that Haley 3 is not only really good but I also actually really like the way that she plays because I don't actually own Haley 2 and I've never played Haley 2 um, not for any particular reason, just because she's never, I've just never gotten around to it. But Haley 3 is, the potential she represents for the game, in my opinion, is so big and is so interesting that I feel like I have to play her. Um, and a lot of people seem to rate her as a very good addition to Signa and is very powerful. Um, yeah. So that's that. I haven't settled on my who's the boss list yet because technically I should be retiring my mercenaries after this, but after the Masters, because that's the idea. The idea is I go out playing Ashlyn in Masters. Um, but I might take a mercenary list into who's the boss. I might take a signal list into who's the boss to sort of ease myself back into using signal models again. Um, again, I haven't really decided what I'm going to do. I've, I've made the two lists that I would like to play, for, or one list for each faction. I'll probably just end up choosing on the day which one and packing it the night. I'll choose the night before, I should say, and then packing it that night. So, uh, yeah, that's about it. It'll be a reasonably short video this time, but that's because it's not going. there's not actually that much happening otherwise. Um, I will be doing a an in-depth report on my battles provided my memory holds up, uh, which it should because it is useless information and I'm quite good at retaining that sort of stuff. Um, so yeah, that'll I think that'll do for this week. Um, apologies if you were hoping for something longer, but you'll get a lengthy one uh, next time. So until next time, keep playing like you have a pair.